everyone. Today's first exposure to a band is, uh, well, to a band called The Better Band. And, you know, sometimes I poke fun at the band names. This one doesn't really jump out as being really outstandingly funny. But the title of the song is The Cow's Wrong. Whatever that means, maybe I'll find out. The Cow's Wrong. Well, as always, I have a little bit to read first, so we'll do that and then we'll listen. The Better Band were a Scottish musical group formed in 1996. Hmm, one of the, shall I say, newer bands. Their style was described as being a blend of folk, psychedelia, electronica, post-rock, and trip-hop, often involving stylistic experimentation and occasional humor. Well, occasional humor doesn't surprise me with a title like the Cow's Wrong. The discography of the Better Band consists of three studio albums, three extended plays, three compilation albums, six singles, and a video collection. They were praised by members of both Radiohead and Oasis. Hmm. I guess I've listened to Radiohead and... Somehow Oasis sounds familiar. Have I listened to Oasis? Yes. Uh, re okay, I don't remember what song it was, but somehow... Wonderwall. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay. Yes, I remember now. And Radiohead, the one that jumps into mind is Creep, right? I think I listened to another one too. Paranoid Android. That's right. Radiohead, Paranoid Android. I remember I was kind of entertained by the the modern computer sounds back then modern sounds. Dial up tone, right? <laughs> they were praised by members of both Radiohead and Oasis, the former of which chose them to open for their concerts in two thousand one. Okay, well, so the Better Band, should we say they were friends with Radiohead and Oasis? Or at least Radiohead and Oasis were friends with them? In a way, friendly with them. Well, let's see how it sounds. I went down to the county drugstore I fought with the county law I went out with my little boy And I told him oh, I can't see you no more interesting tonal palette. I guess I would say it's kind of watercolor in a way, although it's not the sort of impressionist everything washing together that we sometimes associate with watercolors. This, this has that sort of liquid smoothness and roundness to the edges. You know, when you take a paintbrush with some watercolors and put it on the paper. It's it's rather difficult to get sharp, precise lines. This is like somebody has taken a rather um uh how should I describe? I I can picture it in my mind perfectly a, a way of a, a visual representation of the sound. The idea of, you know, some watercolor splotches which are they have roundness, they have color, they're smooth, there's, they're, it's rather soothing, the, whole, the entire overall effect. And I'm really enjoying how the instrumental sound, tone, is made to match the vocal tone. The voice has this smooth, soothing roundness to it. And the 
the instrumental part also matches that in a way that when they start layering together, it's almost as if the instruments are another voice. Um, and I'm noticing, I'm noticing that there's a lot of emphasis, at least so far in the song, placed on some long sustained notes with a bit of harmony mixed in. Sweet, simple harmony, duh, almost choral in, in style. And so when the instrumentation comes in, it's as if it's perhaps another part of the choir joining in to add a fuller choral sound. Interesting, especially with the, the way it's such a simple melodic fragment. Just Da -da. Da -da -da -bum. Let's just back up and hear that a little bit and enjoy that um, as it starts to fill out and then we'll see what comes next. You hear how the voice... Okay, this is such an interesting mix of musical elements. There's this surging quality, this sort of crescendo that comes in on these long tones, and that is a significant feature of the piece. If I were to go back to the beginning, which I won't right now because I want to hear the whole piece through before jumping around too much, but if I were to go back to the beginning, I we would hear how the opening is just a cappella voice and it has that long sustain and I didn't know that it was going to be such a feature but yet it stood out to me even at that beginning and I, I can remember it even though I've just heard it once and I'm hearing everything else falling it becomes a real identifying element of the piece and it's one of the things that that makes this piece have this effect and that is to me it feels it feels kind of like well as I'm looking at the lyrics too I went down to the county drugstore I fought with the county law I went out with my little boy and I told him I can't see you no more okay there's some breakup happening and the little boy is a casualty of the situation and um, you know there's there's this sadness this um things went wrong quality but it's more like i'm i'm experiencing this in the moment i'm not feeling like i'm reflecting on it yet i'm not feeling like it's it's the um thing that created the conflict in the relationship this is the kind of I can't believe this is happening, but this is how it's ended up. And the cows in the field are silent. Oh, speaking of watercolor, 
I hadn't paid attention to the lyrics. Uh, I hadn't been following the lyrics closely when I said that, but then went back to it and realized the sun lay an orange back in blue rounded island. Well, suddenly, yeah, even the lyrics have this sort of watercolory effect. Watercolory. That's not even a word, is it? And then it becomes even more painful. My dog, my dog, my little black dog, he took a ride on the cuckoo train. He couldn't handle the pain. He took, and, and so it's this sort of, mm, almost stream of consciousness expressing the tragedy of the situation without actually speaking about the situation itself. It's, it's me kind of lost, staring off in the field, the silent cows, and I just, I can't fathom what is happening and what has, what has gone on. At least that's how I perceive it. And the music has some of this element of, there's a swell, this, this growth in the tone, it's a straight tone, and then suddenly it pulls back. And then it swells again, and suddenly it pulls back. And that could be kind of soothing, like the sound of the surf on the, on the sand, but the cutoff is too sudden for that. It's as if it starts to be soothing and then jumps away, cuts off. Kind of like it was, it was a, it's this feeling of, again of, I, I, I feel myself going and I can't see what's beyond this cutoff. Along with all that, there are these, well, should I say 90s sounds, these quirky squeaks and funny noises, textures added in very um, conservatively. And I like the conservatism of it. I like the fact that it's just a touch here and a touch there. Almost like if I'm going to go back to the, the visual description, we have these watercolor blotches on the page, painting whatever picture we've got, the silent cows in the field, the little boy who I have to break this terrible news to him, and so on and so forth. And then we have these little scratches, which are perhaps done with pencil or pen. A little bit, they're sharp and small little touches to just enhance the detail in the watercolor a bit. And I just backed up a little bit here because some of it right in here that as I could see all right meant to select the savers fruits I designed to a grapefruit tree so I got a spell on the slap on the sleeve somebody said to me he said how did he do to you little boy would you like to carry get you some food and then the piano comes in well it's that time you could come on It's, it feels like kind of sound, space sounds. And that is, that is why, to me, it doesn't feel really grounded. It's more lost. It's more, I haven't found my bearings yet. After this sequence of events, I'm here and I'm just kind of lost. I don't know what's coming yet. That's how the music expresses what the lyrics are conveying. So interesting, even as I'm following the lyrics and trying to follow, hear what's in the, in the recording itself. Well, the lyrics that I have written in front of me have some places where it's just a string of question marks, as if can't quite 
figure out what's being sung there. And as I'm listening, I can't quite figure out what's being sung there. Maybe if I sat down and really struggled, I could invent something that made sense. That takes me back to this whole watercolor image where some of the blotches just aren't quite specific enough. They add texture. They, they belong there. They make sense there. But, but as far as really identifying what that bit is, I could invent something that could probably work, but I couldn't say that it was guaranteed to be saying to, to be this or in this case, listen to this chorus. I have question marks by your eyes and get high on the wire. Question marks. Each one of those is question mark. And in all of this spacey sound and this, this um, vocal choral sound, then in these strange places, we hear kind of a more lighthearted percussion, like here. <laughs> We can even say it sounds a bit banal, doesn't it? In in the midst of all of this. But isn't that the point of it? Isn't that isn't that kind of um part of the tragedy and the irony of the whole situation is that banality exists in this and, and it it it's part of the life. It's part of the world and even as we're lost in this space here, uh, you know, the world goes on behind us, around us, beside us, ahead of us. Um, the ordinary, the stuff that really in this moment seems like it doesn't belong anywhere, it still exists. And, well, here's a little sound of that. Invading our experience a bit.
Fantastic. fingernails on the chalkboard that sound to my ears. Is that cows in the background? It's supposed to be cows. <laughs> oh wow, that ending is almost like I'm, I don't know, standing in a fence. I hear cows and, and I hear some chains clank, some, some farm machinery or something. It's, it's funny. In a sort of tragic way, isn't it? Musically, it's so interesting to me how this piece, okay, I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of Radiohead. I'm thinking of, I'm remembering Paranoid Android, Creep, I remember Oasis, I guess it was Wonderwall, right? I'm remembering those pieces and how, I guess none of them I really fell in love with, but you know, they had some interesting things and I'm hearing little elements in here that are akin to the others. However, this one fascinates me because it's, I also hear what I'm going to describe as the, I don't know if blues is the right description. I'm going to use the gospel chorus description because, well, they are, there's a lot of overlap and one came from the other. Um, blues is quite broad. Well, gospel chorus is kind of broad too, but, but if you think of a gospel chorus and the, the, you know, the vocal elements, um, bottom to top, different parts. That's what I hear in here, which adds a sort of passion, which um, to me makes it much richer and more colorful than something with just a lot of mm, drier, um, more keeping it at arm's length musical expressions. If you know much about me, you know I love passionate music. <laughs> and so I love the way that they have brought in that, that what I'm going to say, gospel chorus element. Um, it could even be an a cappella group, choral group, sound. And at the same time, they've brought in these other, at that time, contemporary stylistic elements and it really actually works surprisingly well, even though I'm listening and I'm thinking, really, you put that there? But actually, as I said, it's like, it's like mainly a watercolor, but it's a, it's a watercolor that's not strictly that. It has some pen markings, some, some pencil, maybe even a little bit of, I don't know, scratching the canvas or something with a sharp tool or something like that. Some Maybe even a bit multimedia in the sense that maybe somebody put a few beads in spots just to just to add texture and and as I said, it's done so tastefully. It doesn't feel overdone. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel like a mishmash of stuff just for the sake of that. It feels like a really nice, um, actually quite eloquent artistic expression of an experience. Um, well, as I said, to me, it sounds like somebody who's, you know, going through, I mean, to me, it, 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 I can't avoid what looks like, you know, probably a divorce or something. I went down to the county drugstore. I fought with the county law. In other words, we had some court proceedings, whatever. I went out with my little boy and I told him, I can't see you no more. There is something going on here, right? But this is not about the something going on. 
This is about my physical and mental state of being at this point in the goings-on. The cows in the field are silent. The sun lay an orange back. The sun lay an orange back. What an expression. In blue rounded island. The people could never get back. And so on. Um, it goes on speaking about other things. And as I said, some of the parts are really impossible to make out. But it captures that moment in one's life stream. And I think it does it really well. It makes us sympathetic. It also keeps just a little edge of humor. That ending, as I said, where it's almost like we're just standing there watching the cows, listening to the cows. Moo, moo. Like, really? All this is going on my in my life? And we finish the song with moo and some clanking chains. There, There is this subtle bit of humor, which is is not enough to be disrespectful or irreverent of the of the experience, but enough to remind us that we are not the only ones in the world. We are not the only one who's gone through the, this experience. And this is not where our existence ends either. The world goes on, we go on, life goes on, and, you know, who knows what's coming next? But this is that moment. So I have to say, from that perspective, I'm quite impressed. And um, the cow is wrong. What a title. I'm not sure it really told how the cow is wrong, but somehow it fits, doesn't it? Well, that was my first exposure to the Beta Band. And it has me a bit curious to see what else they've done. Maybe I'll come back to them at some point in the future. Who knows? But there we go. I've heard the Beta Band. And I kind of enjoyed the project. I'll see you soon.